Moin and welcome. Hello and welcome. This podcast is for motivated people who want to improve their Luxembourgish vocabulary, listening skills and fluency by listening to compelling content. I'm Anne, your dedicated host and the driving force behind Luxembourgish with Anne, with a true passion for teaching my mother tongue since 2012. In this dynamic podcast, I share with you interesting short vocabulary lessons and topic conversations from level A1 to B1, and together we will build a strong foundation of the language you need to speak with confidence about everyday life topics. I also share exclusive learning strategies and insights for the Spruch and Test oral exam. So join me on this exciting Luxembourgish learning journey. Bas du Prat, are you ready? Moin, and welcome to a new episode. So are you ready for Luxembourgish conversation workout? Natural pronunciation takes practice. So here is 15 minutes of speaking training to help you sound more natural when you meet someone and respond to their questions. I hope that you enjoyed the previous conversation workout. Let's talk about the weather. In case you missed it, I recommend to check it out later. You will find the link in the show notes. In this workout, you will practice how to have a small talk conversation about your family with someone you have just met in an informal situation. So I will use the do form and not the dear form. Talking about your family can as well be a good way to start a conversation. So it's useful if you know what to say and have some questions to ask and some answers to possible questions. You are going to practice some questions and answers. So I recommend that you listen first to me and then uh, that you repeat after me. That's going to help you to strengthen those speaking skills and your listening skills at the same time. And you will sound much more natural when you use them. Are you ready? Bas du Prat? Dann lass. You can start such a conversation with this general question. Wunst du hai zu Lützebursch? Let's repeat. Wunst du hai zu Lützebursch? More natural. Wunst du hai zu Lützebursch? This question may sound strange to some of you, but it is not obvious whether someone lives in Luxembourg or in a neighboring country such as Germany, France or Belgium. Okay, or you can ask, Wunst du Mattenger Famil hai zu Lützebusch? This means, do you live with your family here in Luxembourg? Let's repeat together. Wunst du Mattenger Famil hai zu Lützebusch? We often use the chunk hai zu Lützebusch, meaning here in Luxembourg. Now in English, you just say in Luxembourg, but we, we like to add here the high meaning here. Hi zu Lützebusch, here in Luxembourg. Listen as well how the word for the country is pronounced. Lützebusch. Repeat after me. Lützebusch. Good. And mat is a preposition which requires us to use the dative case. Therefore, you have to say mat menger famil or mat denger famil. So with your family, mat denger famil. Now you can answer this question by saying ja, ich wohne mat menger fra an der Stadt. Meaning, yes, I live with my wife in Luxembourg City. Let's repeat. Ja, ich wohne mit meiner Frau an der Stadt. Or you can say, ja, my man and I live to Mama. Yes, my husband and I live in Mama. Ich wiederhole. Ja, my man and I live to Mama. Or maybe you can say, ja, ich wohne mit meiner Familie zu Bertrand. Yes, I live with my family in Bertrand. Ja, ich wohne mit meiner Familie zu Bertrand. Again, with my family is mit meiner Familie. And do you remember how to say with my wife? 
That was the first sentence. Ja, ich bin eine Mattmenge Frau. So, with my wife is Mattmenge Frau. And do you know how to say with my husband? Well, this would be Mattmenge Mam. My mom is my husband is a masculine noun. And in the dative case with the preposition mat, you will say mat mengem mam. Great. Then you can move on and talk about the children and ask the other person, do you have children? How would you ask this question? Yes, this is hus du kanna. So the informal form. Hus du kanna. Do you have children? And let's see how you can answer to the question, who is du kanna? You can say, for example, ja, ich hun drei kanna, e Mädchen an zwei Jungen. Yes, I have three children, a girl and two boys. Ja, ich hun drei kanna, e Mädchen an zwei Jungen. To say that you have one daughter, you can either say a schon e Mädchen or you can say a schon eng Durchter. E Mädchen is a neutral noun, eng Durchter is a feminine noun. If you have two daughters, you would say a schon zwei Mädersche or a schon zwei Durchteren. Let's repeat and look at the pronunciation. So e Mädchen, repeat after me. Good. And two girls are zwei Mädersche. Let's repeat. Zwei Mädersche. Voilà. As Mädchen is a neutral noun, you have to say zwei. And as Durste is a feminine noun, you have to use the feminine form of zwei, which is zwo. Okay, so if you want to say that you have two daughters and use the word Durste, then you would say a schon zwei Durstern. Okay. Let's move on with some possible answers to the question, who is du kanna? Now, maybe you have a baby, then you can say, mir hun a puppelchen. Ich wiederholen, mir hun a puppelchen. You can as well say, a baby for baby. So you could say as well, mir hun a baby. Another possible answer could be, mir hun a both. A meng fra erwart eist zweet kant. I repeat a little bit um, more slowly. Mir hun a both, meaning we have a son. So you can either say mir hun a jung or mir hun a both. And then the second part of the sentence was a meng fra erwart eist zweet kant. Meaning and my wife is expecting our second child. Ich wiederhole den ganzen Satz. So I repeat the whole sentence. Mir hun a both. A meng fra erwart eis zweet kant. Kant is the singular of kanna, so it's a child. Now learn all the details about the family members and how to say my in Luxembourg, because you can uh, say mein, meng, mengem, menga, so there are many different ways to say my in Luxembourg. With my online course A1 Foundation. Um, if you would like to learn with us and get results within a few months, then reach out and schedule a free consultation call so that we can help you to organize your learning journey so that you ultimately reach your goal. You will find the link to schedule this free consultation call and also the link to the self-study online course A1 Foundation in the show notes. Let's move on. So I said here a both, but you can as well say a young for a son. Both are correct. Now you could add details to make your answers longer and more interesting. For example, Ich hun drei Kanna. Eist elst Mädchen huet feierzeng joa a geht an de Lisse. De zwei Junge gin an de Primärschule. Let's break this down. So the first part was ich hun drei kanna. That's easy to understand. And then eist elst Mädchen huet feierzeng joa. This means our eldest daughter um, has 14 years. 
Eist ist Mädchen hut feiert sing joa, a geht an de Lisse and goes to the secondary school. Let's repeat this part of the sentence uh, together. Eist ist Mädchen hut feiert sing joa, a geht an de Lisse. De zwei Junge gin an de Primärschule. This means the two boys go to the primary school. De zwei Junge gin an de Primärschule. Jus elst Mädchen, or you can also say eis eels duerste, and elste Jung, or elste both, to say eldest daughter or eldest son. And for youngest, use jengst. Jengst, eis jengst duerste, and eis a jengste Jung, eis a jengste both. Okay? Um, another possible answer could be mehr hun a puppelchen a jung. Jen hut a lo drei meins. So meaning we have a baby, a son, and jen hut a lo drei meins. He is just three months old now. Jen hut a lo drei meins. Meins is the plural of mount a month. Finally, let's imagine that your children are already older and then you could answer the question, who is to Kanna, who is? Men Kanna sicher groß, als ein jung studier de ob der Uni an als Durchter schafft schon. I repeat it. Men Kanna sicher groß, meaning our children are already big, hm? Eise jung studiert a lo op der Uni. Our son is already studying at the university. A nice durchter schafft schon. And our daughter is already working. Let's repeat these sentences. Men kann er sich schon groß. Eise jung studiert a lo op der Uni. A nice durchter schafft schon. So to say that you are studying at the university in Luxembourg, you should just say, Ich studieren ob der Uni. Oder mein Jung studiert ob der Uni. Yes? Good. Let's have another possible answer. Ma ja, mein elst Mädchen hat sein eige Familie, hat das bestuhlt und hat eh kannt. Und das jüngst as nach ob der Uni. So here I started with Maya. Use Maya to sound more casual, more natural. You will hear many native speakers starting an answer with Maya. Okay? Donc, Maya, mein elst Mädchen hat sein eige Familie. Meaning, well, my um, eldest daughter has her own family. Donc, mein elst Mädchen hat sein eige Familie. Hat das bestuhlt und hat eh kannt. So she's married and has a child. An dat jengst as nach ob der Uni. Meaning, and the youngest is still at the university. Let's repeat just to practice. Ma ja, mein elst Mädchen hat sein eige Familie. Hat das bestuhlt und hat eh kannt. An dat jengst as nach ob der Uni. And finally, if you don't have any children, you will answer the question, who is to Kanna? By saying, no, we don't have any children. How would you say this? No, we don't have any children. This is, ne, mir hu kein Kanna. Ne, mir hu kein Kanna. Or you can say, ne, mir hu nach kein Kanna. Und du? Meaning, no, we don't have any children yet. And you? Let's repeat together. Nee, mir hu nach kein Kanna. Und du? Or you can say, nach net, aber hoffentlich geschwen. So if you are expecting a child or if you want uh, children in the upcoming future, you can say, Nach net, so answering the question, who is to come? Uh, nach net, aber hoffentlich 
geschwen, meaning not yet, so nach not, not yet, aber hoffentlich geschwen, but hopefully, hopefully soon. Nach not, aber hoffentlich geschwen. So let's repeat these three answers if you don't have any children. The first one to say, no, we don't have any children is, nee, mir hu kein Kanna. Or if you want to say, no, we don't have any children yet, is, nee, mir hu nach kein Kanna. Or if you want to say, not yet, but hopefully soon, is, nach net, aber hoffentlich geschwen. Yes, so well done. Nice work for sticking with me all the way through this training. It's training your mouth and your memory through repetition that will help you sound more like a native speaker. And take here my learning tip. I did not make this episode for you to listen it once and then walk away and forget about it. This is your training, okay? So you need to come back and practice with me often. It's training your mouth and your memory through repetition. Great. And don't forget that if you would like to learn and study with us and get results, schedule a free consultation call so that we can help you to organize your learning journey and ultimately reach your goal. Merci für no lauschen. Thank you for listening. Um, bis nächste Woche. Adi.